We've got a few of today to just price vinyl records, Ooh, and they're awesome because they we have a bunch of albums by one of my favorite actresses and singers, Bette Midler. Ooh. Oh my God, she oh. was in Beaches, which yes. is like my third favorite movie because you know Eddie and the Cruisers <laughs> two, and then Eddie and the Cruisers one, and then Beaches. Oh, 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 and and she was in the first Wives Club. Yes, you yep. don't own me, and they saw sang that Leslie Gore song. Yeah, her yeah. and Diane Keaton and Goldie Hawn, and it was so awesome. Oh my God. You like the rose? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. her character was based off of Janis Joplin. Who Ooh, doesn't love Janis Joplin? Who doesn't Joplin, love right? Janis Joplin? Yeah. Oh, but look, we've got thighs and whispers. Oh. Ooh. And we have self-titled Bette Midler. And songs for the new depression. Oh. Bette Midler. Love! She's love at oh. last! <laughs> Did she put out like so many records before she was actually in movies? She wasn't in movies until 1979. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. and she put out so many albums before she did that. And before that, she was on Broadway. I mean, come on. Who can, who can fight with Ben Midler? That's true. She just wins. And I read that by 2007, she sold 14 million albums. Oh, 14 my God. 14 million. 14 million. That's 14 a million. Lot of albums. 14 yeah. Good million. job. Good job, Greg. Good job, Beth. <laughs> Go you. Woo. Ooh, we got Broken Blossom. And we have Divine Madness. Divine Madness. Divine Madness. Madness. Is it, isn't her nickname the Divine Miss M? Yeah. Do you know yeah. how she got that? Cabaret club with Barry Manilow. <laughs> 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 and Mick loose. Jagger. And Mick Jagger. Yeah. Woo yeah. Ooh, no frills. Charge GDH. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come yeah. on, Midler. Is she on this? <laughs> no, it would be awesome if she was. It would have skyrocketed then. I'm like, and there's GVH Ben Miller. <laughs> <laughs> or, or she could rave up with the Yardbirds. Ooh. Or she could exile on Main Street with Mick Jagger. With Mick Jagger. At the cabaret. The the I cabaret. could see that happening. That'd be awesome. Definitely. Or she could wear an awesome hat with T Rex. That's true. She could hang out yes. in France. <laughs> there you go. In France, where they it's... made this Michael Paul Paul Nareff record. <laughs> <laughs> or she could swing the pendulum with Creedence. Creedence. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> she could have a romance with Carly Simon. Yeah, she could. She could play the game with Queen. Hey. <laughs> she could be true to Spandu Ballet. <laughs> And she could stick to business as usual <laughs> with the network. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, we've got the Edgar Winter Group. Oh. I love the Edgar Winter Group. His hair is so gorgeous. It is gorgeous. And Paul Revere and the Raiders. Here they come! Here they come! Here they come! Here they come! Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> and we got Joe Cocker. Emerson Lake and Powell. Powell. Not Palmer. Not Palmer. Powell. Powell. <laughs> Don't get it twisted, guys. Just for one album. It's okay. Ooh, George Thorogood and the Destroyers. Glass Tiger. Paul Warren. Beverly Hills Cop soundtrack. Oh, it's Pat Benatar. I love Pat Benatar. I love Pat Benatar almost as much as Ben Miller, but not quite. But love is a battlefield. I know love is a battlefield. But Ben Miller took over that battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, Pat Benatar. Something. Tropico. Thank you. I really can read Oh, oh, more Pat Benatar. Wide awake in Dreamland. How can you be wide awake when you're dreaming? That's true. Is that like playing Candyland at your kitchen table while you're eating pretzels? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> More like playing poker at your kitchen table while eating the pretzels as your auntie. Oh, <laughs> oh there you go. Julio Iglesias. And he's got a kind of a creepy smile on there. <laughs> it's Abba! Oh my god, it's Abba. Larry Gatlin's greatest hits. Woo! Woo! Carol King! It's Carol King's greatest hits! Oh my ah, god! Yeah. Oh my god! Because I feel the earth. Move under my feet. That's that's still my favorite Carol King song. I love that one. Roger Daughtry, one of the boys. Looks like one of the girls. <laughs> <laughs> Rick Springfield, su success hasn't spoiled me yet. Well, you know that dog. Those the dog was very spoiled. It does look very good. spoiled and pampered too. Eric B and Rakim. Oh, yeah. Paid in full. Paid in full. Yeah. That's and a lot of money. And then. Look at the goose <gasps> on the back. Ooh, ooh, look at that bling. Ooh. Paid in full. Ooh, ooh, it's Shalimar. And Herb Alpert. Yes. And Hank Williams. 
The Platters! Nat King Cole! <laughs> Bing Crosby and somebody... Rosemary, Rosemary Clooney. Yay. Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> well, I <laughs> mean... <laughs> oh, 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 it's Liza Minnelli. It's another lady of Broadway. Yes. Oh, and another one. She's live! She's live yes. at the Olympia in Paris. Oh, yeah. The soundtrack with Liza Minnelli, the sterile cuckoo. I feel like that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I would really like to see the sterile cuckoo. It sounds like it would be interesting. You know, like one flew over the cuckoo's nest. That one was very interesting. Haven't you met a few? Yes, I have met a few sterile cuckoos. <laughs> Liza with a Z, and she's in concert. So oh, that oh, means oh, she's oh. live. She's live <laughs> for television. Yeah. So does that count? Is she really live? If she's live for television? Yeah, I think. So. Okay. Oh, kind of. Semi. Liza Minnelli! <laughs> the singer! Yeah. Really? You're a singer? Oh my god, I had no idea. Come on, really. And she's so vain. You're so vain. <laughs> Sergio Mendez in Brazil 66. Look around. Look, and more Sergio Mendez. It's the greatest hits. And another one. And I don't understand because that doesn't say 66, that says 88. Aliens. Yeah. And when, yeah. <laughs> when it says Sergio 66, are there 66 of them? I think so. Or is it fake? Is it like 10,000 maniacs? Because no. there's only like eight of them. No, I think there's really what? 66. Yeah, there's really 66. Yeah. So does yeah. that mean there's really 88 of them? Like, look at this guy. Like, I feel like he always has an entourage of people because he has a purple shirt. Okay. And, like, and it's a booby shirt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's Donna Summer. In Donna Summer. Live! Live! And more. Oh. I wonder what the more is. Mm. Ooh, Louis Prima. The Great Metropolitan Steam Band. Ooh. Ooh. And it's the Eagles. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's the Eagles. I love the Eagles so much. She does. So she does. much. John Henley and Timothy B. Schmidt. Oh, she loves that. <sighs> They're top. Oh, Aria Speedwagon. Oh, I love that record. I know. You can tune a piano, but you can't can tune, tune a fish. fish. <laughs> Get it? Get it? Oh, it sticks! And it's pretty, because it's etched. Ooh. Spencer Davis's greatest hit. Jerry Lee Lewis. She still comes around to love what's left of me. It's kind of sad. But I'll take it. I, it. One one leg, two legs, one arm, <laughs> two arms. Okay, he's all there. Uh, Peter and Gordon. Funny girl! Thank God it's Friday compilation. Woo, because it is Friday! Okay. War! Hanson and Davis. Al Green, let's stay together. Uh, the Shy Lights. Marvin Gaye and Kim Weston. It's Funkadelic! Yeah. It's Funkadelic! It's a Funkadelic 12 inch! Oh my god, it's a one sided 12 inch and it's a DJ promo and oh my god. That's so cool! Look, we got more 12 inches. They're awesome! Gloria Gaynor's oh promo. Mike Theodore Orchestra. Hamilton Bonan. Whoa! Woo! Nice. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>